We've always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now Hi, SpongeBob. Force fields to separate us. If you can find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. Uh, it's Tom Kenny, right? I think there's a diode around here yes. somewhere. Yeah. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. He voices a lot of characters in this game. Yeah, main gimmick of this is like you need the light bulb things and act, uh, deactivate the uh, laser gates, pretty much. I forgot that this is the game where the series starts to introduce science, active science into the, into the mix. Yeah, I mean you already have the professor, I guess. Um, also, this is speaking of this level though. Uh, this is also uh, the origin of Ratchet and Clank, I believe. Like, I think uh, Insomniac has said that this is, this, the level, this level's enemies uh, are what inspired Ratchet and Clank as characters. You had the big guys with, with like the wrench, and then you have the robot, which is really self-explanatory. Which is kind of cool. I actually prefer Spyro 2 and 3 over Ratchet and Clank. Hmm. Well, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to agree or disagree because I haven't played those games. What is, like, the general, like... What, 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 how, what Ratchet and Clank games have you played and what do you think of them? First one only. Oh, okay, what do you, what, how's that, uh, stack up? Um, it's alright, I mean... It's alright, I guess I wasn't... I didn't fall in love with it, it was... Again, it kind of has the same problem I have with the Spyro games, the camera keeps on making me motion sick. Yeah! And it's clearly, um, it's... It's a platformer at heart, but it's still integrating the gameplay and... Well, I don't know how to shoot, so... Yeah, that's fair enough. Swimming is a downgrade, though, like, uh, a definite downgrade. Hmm. I think it's just the fact that Spyro has to charge, really. That's the main thing that makes swimming so fun in these games. And when you don't have that with Ratchet, uh, you're kind of making it worse by default. Or not as fun. In general, the charge is one of the best things that this... Spyro has over its contemporaries, like, it just yeah. makes it pro progressing, it makes traveling easy, like, and it's already, easy and fluid, I guess, like, it's already dealing with a 3D platformer with camera issues is bad enough, but doing that and the levels are big, you're in for a bad time. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And, um, I would say... I'm more, more of a, I'm definitely more of a Crash fan than I am a Spyro fan, but at the same time, um, Spyro, the Spyro trilogy was a lot more forward thinking for like, 3D, 3D game development, like it does more with a 3D space than Crash does, um, and, you know. Um, yeah, Crash, uh, what was saying? Spyro games feel more like they feel like more like your arch archetypal, your typical, like your typical 3D platformer of the time. Yeah. Crash was kind of the odd one out even back then. Yeah, yeah, because like, uh, cr well, cr when Crash, well, I I specify specify Crash One specifically, when that came out, uh, you know, I get I guess at that time 3D platform, uh, 3D games weren't properly. Uh, like, didn't really have a proper, proper way to go about it. Um, I mean, but, even Mario 64, it actually pre actually predates the first crash. Well, well it, it does, but at that point, um, they'd be too too far in development to really start over. Night Dog, Night Dog probably started before they even saw the game showing up in public. Yeah. Funnily enough, uh, Rayman 2 was actually inspired by uh, Crash 1, I believe, where, like, uh, the... Oh, I guess we talked to this guy first. <laughs> you see, all of the We've been this 
Now go back to Bikini Bottom. You need a place to punch Bob Bal for Bikini Bottom. That's the mm. first spiral game that entered a dragonfly. It's a game I've heard a lot of good things about. It's it's good. I mean, uh, people probably. I mean, I'm speaking from a position of nostalgia, so I'm maybe <laughs> like maybe early <laughs> inflating its quality, but it's good. Um, yeah. Probably the closest thing. My generation had to a duck to a Ducktales. I never actually played the original Ducktales. I loved remastered, but I should play the, uh, get the Disney Afternoon Collection because it has like Ducktales one and two, uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and uh, some other things. That'll be Darkwing Duck. Yeah, Darkwing Duck. Oh yeah, he's coming back to Ducktales too. Hmm? He's showing up in the new DuckTales cartoon. Oh uh, yeah, he made a cameo in one of the recent episodes. Alright, uh, where's the last thing? Uh, there's a few... F uh, because, like, the, the uh, skill point in this one is just to break all the windmills. Um... Yeah, I think it just has to turn right away. Yeah. Uh, what were we? Uh, I was I was gonna say something earlier. What? Uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, what were we talking about? Um, Ratchet versus Spyro and progression in 3D platformers. Oh oh yeah yeah I okay yeah I was gonna say um yeah this windmill is kind of tricky. Uh the <laughs> it's funny. Rayman two. Yeah Rayman two. That's it. Um. It's funny how uh, Rayman 2, um, the Rayman 2 team was inspired by Crash, seeing Crash 1. Uh, like, they saw the game uh, was e in 3D, and uh, they, they saw, like, they were like, a 3D game could have a lot of, lot of potential, so they basically um, cut the original idea they have with Rayman 2, which was going to be another 2D side-scroller. Um, and they made Tonic Trouble, I think, um, to, like, test the wars for 3D game d design. That's how a lot of developers seem to do it for older franchises. They would usually have some new IP be a test run, like... Yeah. Which I think when... is smart. Yeah, that's very smart. When... Midway wanted to take Mortal Kombat into 3D, they created War Gods first. War yeah. Gods is considered a failure, Mortal Kombat 4 was a commercial success by comparison. Yeah, it's a, it's a smart and, way to uh, make, a, make, a, make a game without using your established IP and, like, ruining it. And apparently Banjo-Kazooie was part, kind of a test run for Donkey Kong 64. Wait, really? To a point, like... Huh. That's surprising. Like they took, I mean, uh, obviously Rare took the lessons from my, from Banjo to make DK64. Like, uh, and honestly, honestly made a much worse game, if I'll be honest. But that's neither here nor there. I'm maybe sim oversimplifying this. So Banjo itself wasn't even supposed to be a platform at all. Yeah, Banjo had a lot, had an interesting development see, uh, cycle. I mean, I, I, I guess we can just talk about this, because uh, I've already played the uh, Kazooie and Tui, and I don't plan on doing an LP of Nuts and Bolts anytime soon. But so... Well, nothing for the 10th anniversary? Huh? Nothing for the 10th anniversary? Ten yes, it has been 10 years. Oh, wow. Well, when did Kazooie come out? <laughs> Magic Kazooie came out in 1998, so 20 years. Good lord. Let's get a remaster. I would love that. Like, I, I would prefer a sequel, like, or, you know, another game, but I wouldn't be opposed to, like, an insane trilogy, reignited trilogy approach. Because I, I have played not, uh, 
decent amount of nuts and bolts at a friend's house years back. I'm I'm talking like five, six years ago maybe. If even that. And I remember enjoying it. And um I do plan on I, I do plan to stream the, the Banjo games and ending it with a full run of nuts and bolts. So I'm very curious on how that's going to go. I'm a little bit worried about the vehicle customization because I've never been the best at stuff like that. But still. Hmm. But like... Maybe uh, we'll get, huh? Maybe we'll get lucky to see three. I mean... I, if Rare's develop, if Rare's gonna make it, I wouldn't wouldn't expect it. I I, I probably wouldn't wouldn't even expect a teaser until next year because I feel like Sea of Thieves is a bit early because like Sea of Thieves just came out, and they're probably like focusing on polishing that game up via updates and stuff right now. But yeah, that now that the main game is done, I I. Be to I'd be really happy with a Banjo game. But we'll see. This, this era of post launch DLC is gonna just extend development cycles. Yeah. Like I do I yeah, I like I like uh, having the uh, these like updates for games and stuff, like Splatoon where it has like updates for new weapons and stages and whatnot. But it kind of puts developers in in a tight spot where um, it's like, do we keep keeping this one game alive or do we want to make make a new game? I don't know. I mean, people get all hissy if they don't support this game, even if they just want to make a new product. Yeah. I don't think we're seeing Final Fantasy 16 in this decade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let alone Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> but no, the, the, there's Why probably... Why you gotta me like that, Harry? <laughs> I'm not usually this bad at using the hover. We will have had Crash remakes and Spyro remakes and a second Medieval remake before the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I haven't actually seen the Medieval Remake. How is no that? one has. It didn't. There's oh. no footage of it. Oh, okay. They just announced it at the end of PSX last year, and then had pretty much nothing to show for it. Fair enough. <laughs> I feel like Spyro is the only one that's been announced and shown footage of, like in the same time frame, I guess. Because it's been hinted at, but like before, like they never, they never flat out said, "Oh, Spyro is happening." Um, until they showed the trailer, which is interesting. Like, Crash, we uh, didn't see footage until much later. Six months after the announcement. Yeah. I hope that means that this has been in development longer than the Insane Trilogy. Well, Reignited or Medieval? Really, I guess both. Hmm. is probably gonna... Spyro's probably gonna have to take a lot more effort than uh, Crash. Just because just of how the way the games work. This is the most pointless thing ever. <laughs> you just hit the switch and you're done. Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it. Here, have a bag of money. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, uh I don't know. I feel like there's a, there's supposed to be a mini game somewhere. I forget where it is. Yeah, we're missing gems as well. I believe we got the skill point already. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. But have you uh, seen like the like uh, Rayman might be getting a trilogy remake as well? Like I don't know how much 
how true that is, but that would be really cool. Um, I mean, having played Rayman 1, I mean, Rayman 2 doesn't really need another remake, but... No, but... Still. I mean, if they can do some, like, if, like, I'm trying to think of the last time Rayman 2 got, like, a big, major update. Yeah. Revolution, I think, was the last one. Yeah, Revolution was the last big uh, re remake, I guess you could say. Um, I'd honestly prefer if they if if they are gonna remake the trilogy, I prefer if they just stuck with Great Escape, because I feel like the flow of that game is a lot better. Instead of like having an extra hub world and added things that I don't know, I've only played a little bit of Revolution, but from what I played and seen and and heard from uh, mainly mainly you and Andrew, feels like it adds. It just adds a lot of fluff that didn't need to be there. I mean, I'm not one to argue against additional content, but it's it seems like it's just padding. Yeah, I wasn't too big on the hub world from what I from the little bit I played. I literally quit my playing Rayman Two after I got to Sam the Snake. Sorry, Sam. Oh yeah. Oh hi. Here we go. I let him down. <laughs> I know he found a mini game. These gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stone. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful. Yeah, so uh the counter there is not actually all the, the putting in all the lightning stones. They're the enemies that you need to kill. Um so you, when you put the put them in, they'll eventually try and grab them, so you, you got to try and kill them all. And then you have to end the minigame with putting all the lightning stones in. Wouldn't it be easier just to wait for one of them to just lure one of them out? Um, I think there's like an alarm that um, goes off. Yeah. But um, on the topic of Rayman, remasters, remakes, whatever the heck they want to call them now. Um, there we go. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Rayman 3 getting in their shot. Yep. And I wouldn't mind uh, Rayman 1 uh, getting a remake. Uh, it would be interesting how they, if they manage to uh, make the game more fair. <laughs> My goodness, what if it played like Origins? Oh, if it played like Origins, that would be great. I'd love that. Um, I feel like night and day in terms of style. Yeah, because the Origins by itself is basically a update of Rayman One's uh, gameplay, which is selling. Which saying that is like really put, uh, g giving the game a lot less credit than it deserves. <laughs> Where'd that guy go? I think he just vanished. Yeah, this this mini game's harmless, I guess, but it's kind of tedious. That describes a lot of the missions in Spyro 2. Yeah, like a lot of them aren't really that hard. It's just they aren't always the most interesting, and they feel more like busy work half the time. There we go. Precious. My precious. Oh, I saw another guy over there. Like, he's not even doing anything with it. He just... Like, they just want something to hold. Yeah. Dang it. They're just kind of toying with you. Can you think of, like, any... Any series you'd want, like, an insane trilogy kind of treatment for? Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. That's ex- that- yeah, that's- that was exactly what was on my mind. I'd love that. Yeah, throw in Sonic Heroes as well. I mean, yeah, I guess it makes- that would work. I hear another guy. 
Ugh, these guys are <laughs> annoying. Um, Pac-Man World Trilogy. Those are games I need to play. Especially Pac-Man World 2, that game looks fun. It is fun. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I'd say the Blinks games, but Microsoft doesn't own Blinks anymore. That's the uh, cat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Early Xbox era was fun. Yeah. Wait, where's the last two at? I don't think of anything else. I mean, I just won SA1 and 2 Remake. Um, and Heroes, I guess, as well. Ah, can these- this guy just... die. There was a, uh... a fake rumor at one point. Uh... That like Heroes was gonna get a remake, or whatever. I don't think that's true anymore because it, it was like the the league was like this is gonna be announced at the uh, South by Southwest panel and it clearly didn't happen. But I'd be I'd be down with a Heroes remake or an adventure remake because um, as much as I love those games, they could definitely benefit from a uh, from. A remake where they fix issues and stuff. And you can't go wrong with the HD graphics either. Alright, now we just need to put the things back in. I have both but one condition. I accepted the remastered the new soundtrack for Crash and I'll You'd probably be fine with her Spyro, but Sonic, Sonic Adventure stuff can stay as it is. Yeah, I don't see a reason to change that. Like, I guess you can just like up update it to make it make the sound better. But like, you, I don't think you need to make original uh, compositions or whatever you want to call it. Cause like even even now the soundtracks of those two games are great. And heroes as well. I don't think you really need to bother with Shadow though. I think if you if you if you want to make Shadow a good game, you're gonna have to go back to square one. <laughs> I mean, Shadow has, like, elements that could make it a great game, but I think it's, like, too far gone. Like, you'd have to make the game from scratch, I think. Right, Sunny Beach. How are we, how are we for time right now? Yo. <laughs> Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shackle those baby turtles over there to safety, I'll be mighty grateful. Hey, right, home. Alright, we're back. I had, had um, like, a bit of a break, but... Back in this level... A lot of swimming involved here, so that's all good. I honestly have no idea what we were talking about earlier, so, um... I don't know. This is one... Hmm? Me neither. Yeah, but like, this is the level where we're gonna be able to, uh... Uh, was it? Get to... Shoot... What, um... A sort of, like, a flame thing underwater. 
And this is also another stage we're going to have to backtrack to later, because uh, we're going to have to need to have the uh, climbing ability to get to a minigame and some gems. I don't know. Uh, this, this level is fine. It's pretty short. Um, it's straightforward. Not much to really say about it. I do like the enemy designs in this game, though. Very, like uh, this guy here, uh, the way it, they do make him have two hits, like he has, like a life How belt do thing. How does that protect them from fire? I don't know, but I just like that kind of, those little things that they do for the the, the Spyro games are weird, and I like the way they uh, do things like that. They just. Make the world very surreal. I'm surprised this isn't an escort mission. Yeah, it, it, they, the characters just kind of go to where they need to go and wait for you to hit the switch. They, there's no risk of them dying, so that's nice. By the mean babies. Yeah. The water workers have boxed up most of our baby turtles. The boxes are incredibly strong, with a more powerful flame breath. Maybe you could break them open and release the turtles. Gromit's no longer a dog, I guess. <laughs> and now I can talk. <laughs> yeah, Wallace and Gromit is my childhood, man. <laughs> Don't know if you've if you if you've ever watched those shorts or anything or I watched uh, I watched the wrong trousers. Oh, that one's great. Yeah, the movie's pretty good. Surprised they only made one. Well, technically, they have two. I think it's generally just because of the way they make the game the, the games the way they make Wallace and Gromit just takes a long time. I'm gonna see if I can cheese this. Nope, I did get that though. Congratulations, you got one gem. Uh, yeah, Wilson Grummet, uh, it's very entertaining. Oh, we can get the thing now. Let's get this. Yeah, Super Flame. Works. Quite a bit differently from uh, Spyro One, because uh, in I believe in Spyro One it was it literally just works like the regular flame. They're still trapped in there. <laughs> it, except it, it 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 could break open like iron or metal things. And in this game, it's like a fireball attack. Alright. What do you think of the uh, Super Flame in this game? <coughs> it's fine, I, I like it. Yeah. And now like underwater. Can... Yeah, I like how you can use it underwater. Yeah, it turns into this little weird spark. Yeah. I don't know if there's any boxes in this area. No. I hope I'm not I hope I'm not making you too sick. Oh no, I'm I feel better now. I got a bit more endurance. Alright. Alright, and the last, yeah, there's one up here, and then the last one should be in the next section. How come those baby turtles look different from the other ones? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> ah, dang it. Shoot him! Where's the last one? It should be around. Yeah, there, we are. there it is. Nice. Impressive! Most impressive! 
please take this secret uh thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. <laughs> Huzzah. Everybody's secret. Hmm? Uh, no, okay. Uh, no, I was just seeing what the, how many orbs are in. The other orbs we can't get into later. I'm just secretly hoping that in the Reignite Trilogy they'll have one of the NPCs toss one at his head. <laughs> huh. Just one. Yeah. That would be amusing. Nice. Yeah, I also like uh, how uh, Spyro and Free uh, just how they the way they look um, is a lot more appealing than Spyro One. Like, there's a lot more detail going on, and uh, the worlds are for PS One standards. They're pretty nice to look at. It's probably they never upgraded Spyro's character model. Nah, it's pretty much the same. There's a chef at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our baby turtles. If you know how to climb, you could get up there and stop him. Well, that's gonna I have will to save wait. them that's... tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna have to wait, I'm afraid. I was. I think there's gems in that door. Yay! Oh, yep. Thank you, young dragon. Can the you promise? The turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman <laughs> as a token of our gratitude. Huzzah! They look, more, they look more like hippos and turtles. Yeah. So wait, is there uh, like? Oh wow, the chef's actually there. It's probably just gonna make us go to uh, areas we can't get to, so I'm just gonna exit. Oh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go over to the speedway. I think it's around here. Yep. Is he actually looking at the treasure he's collected? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so, um... Speedways basically work the same way as they did in the first game. Do you have to do four specific things, um, and you know, go do it. Doing something gives you more time. And there's also a skill point for each of these, where if you if you manage to beat these um, under a specific time, you get a skill point. So you gotta be pretty fast. Good luck with that. Yeah. Yeah, not much else to say really. They work the same way, but there's also a hunter challenge in each of these that you can yeah, do. Yeah, you gotta find them. Yeah. I think I've already messed up the skill point, so I'm gonna have to do this again, I think. No, let's just die. No, these are fine, like... I don't really have much to say about them.
What do you think about the speedways? <laughs> I've made my displeasure clear. <laughs> yep. I do like the little the the challenges they add into it in the sequels, though, because in the first game it was just the speedways, and that was it. Ah, okay, there we go. Whoa! Oof. Yeah, camera could do. Camera could be better for this. Yeah. But yeah, you wanna. Oh yeah, we got a score point. Nice, because you heard the sound. And now we're gonna have to find Hunter. Which I think he's over here in a crowd. Well, well, you don't actually find Hunter here, but. Ain't she pretty? In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. Beware of Hunter flies through a ring first. The ring will start to shrink. Yeah, so just follow Hunter. I don't think there's any you you can't necessarily win. He's always gonna be in front of you. But yeah, just follow where he's going. Hunter's a little old cheat. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that, goodness Yeah, this can be a little bit tricky, so watch it. If he has this, why doesn't he just do all the levels? Yeah. Because <gasps> we're the main character. Ah! Wow. All right, let's try doing this with less fail now. Good job, Harry. We've gone, we've done this and haven't done many Superman 64 jokes. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm above that. No, we're not. Yeah? I mean, you've already, I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. She has... Her skin's like three different shades of green. Is she supposed to be... Partially humanoid? Oh, man. No thanks. She's got like... Smooth human skin with a fish head. Yeah. For a first mermaid. <laughs> Just gonna go here and then. Batman. Yeah, boy. Jeez, I don't like going in those narrow corridor-like things because it's so easy to just screw up. Ah, oh, goodness gracious, the camera. Yeah. Alright. Okay, we're almost there. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, it didn't technically beat Hunter, but well. Huzzah. That should be it. I don't I don't think we have much else left here, but let's see. 